This is a fun little story from a while back that should serve as a precautionary tale about Twitter, hashtags and abbreviations, especially on a globalised platform. The year was 2013, March through April to narrow it down further, and the setting was a sizeably big town in Reading, Berkshire. It's located just west of London. By all accounts, there weren't any major events going on in the town at that time. Their famous music festival wouldn't be on for another half a year or so. The local football team were in the Premier League, but their chances of avoiding relegation weren't looking too good, and sure enough, they would later finish second from bottom and plummet down to the championship. Local marathon went ahead through typical English weather of sunshine and showers, and they were renovating the train station. All in all, things were pretty normal. The thing to focus on here, however, is the abbreviation they chose to use for the town, shortening the word Reading to RDG, and using that as shorthand when discussing the goings-on of the town. And when you're using a platform like Twitter that imposes a character limit on tweets, you need to cut down the character count as much as possible so they would favour the RDG rather than the full word Reading here. So, some residents of Reading would post about the banal day-to-day -day activities, such as tweeting at councillors to ask questions about the state of things, or to raise awareness about upcoming events in the area for people to find. And then one day, in mid to late March 2013, suddenly there was an influx of tweets in Japanese using the same hashtag. Not a whole lot at first, but enough to catch the attention of the locals. This was the opening of the floodgates that would fully burst come April 4th, 2013. The locals were confused, dismayed and irritated that many of these tweets seemed to be completely unrelated to their town. But what exactly happened? In a somewhat unfortunate event, there just so happened to be a new seasonal anime called Red Data Girl that started airing in Japan, and as you can guess the initials of that show just happens to match this hashtag RDG. The early tweets in Japanese were essentially the first warning. The anime started airing on a site called Nico Nico Doga, which is more or less Japan's equivalent to YouTube at the time. The television broadcast, and by extension when the anime aired on streaming platforms outside of Japan, with subtitles for additional languages such as English, would occur on April 4th. For those first couple of weeks though, the show aired at 11.30pm in Japan, which corresponds to 2.30pm GMT. So every week when a new episode came out, the hashtag was suddenly flooded with a bunch of, well, to the locals of Reading at least, incomprehensible gibberish. Though, to be fair, I suppose even the ones in fluent English wouldn't be much more easier to comprehend. The double whammy came when the show was available in more countries such as the United States, which led to the hashtag being used more and more across all hours of the day. According to an article published by the local Reading newspaper, Get Reading, Great pun. The usage of this hashtag was overwhelmingly in favour of tweets surrounding the anime. The regular users of the hashtag would make perhaps 1 to 200 posts a day, whereas people discussing the anime made 17,000 posts in one hour. So the town of Reading, much like their football team that season, were quick to concede and take the loss. They began searching for a new hashtag to use in order to clean up their timelines. However, this didn't go over too well with some of the more vocal residents. If you've been around the internet long enough, you might recognise what's about to happen next. Doubling down from a losing position is like pouring gasoline on an open fire. It invites all sorts of ridicule. Suddenly we had a flame war over a Twitter hashtag between anime fans and the town of Reading.
Some of the more clever Twitter users thought to add a filter to the hashtag search to filter by language so that they could only see English tweets with the hashtag RDG. By then it was too late. A bunch of English speaking anime fans and general shitsters had hopped onto the bandwagon and kept using it themselves. To be fair though, most of the people who were the so-called victims of the cyber hijacking did take it in good spirits, accepting that it was an amusing coincidence, agreeing that they didn't really own a three-letter acronym. There were only a handful of people who did get mad over it, and a few who didn't realise that the show aired weekly who kept declaring a premature victory after a couple of days. Ultimately, Red Data Girl ended up being a bit of a flop. After the excitement of the Twitter war wore off, the seasonal anime watchers moved on. The town of Reading was perhaps lucky that it wasn't something on par with, say, One Piece, Dragon Ball, our more contemporary popular anime hits such as My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, or Demon Slayer. Red Data Girl came and went before fading into obscurity. The town of Reading might have lost the battle, but they did eventually win the War of Attrition.